Hello there and welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see, I am here in minifigure form, standing in the middle of the road in my Lego city. But today we will be taking a look at this Lego store because it isn't built exactly how I want it to be. As you can see, there is definitely a, a little height difference between it and the sea life. And there was a few other great pieces that I used that now I've got a few more great masonry bricks I can replace and just fix it up get it looking a bit nicer next to the sitcom tower especially with that new brick design that i have for the big bang theory flat i want to apply some of that to the wall of the lego store perhaps try and work a window or two in that side though i'm pretty sure the design is actually going to stay the same especially for the inside i'm just going to increase the two of them by an extra brick and get that medium the same level as the farm so Hopefully I'll have that done and also I want to play out or at least tile off most of this pavement here because I still haven't done that and I don't really know why. There's not really been an excuse. I've just completely forgot about it. I did have a bunch of minifigures there lined up for the Lego queue and I think that just distracted me from finishing this off. And the frogs of course want a pond to be able to splash around with so I'll also be finishing that off. and. The easy thing with my city, as you can see, Spider-Man and Doc Ock have been placed, but I can just pull out each of these platforms. They're each sort of modular to their own degree. So I've got, of course, this platform here that I just fell over on. I've got the two houses there. The Friends Tower is its own platform. That street back there is another plate. And then I've got a reasonably sized one here with both the pavement and these two towers. And then, of course, this side bit is its own plate and is only like six studs wide. So I'll just take out this whole thing, move it to my desk. And once I've finished upgrading the Lego store, I'll sort of show you the design I've gone for and we'll see how it turned out. And as you can see, the first thing I did was took off all of the lampposts and everything that sort of would get in the way, including all the minifigures, the animals and made sure all the doors were shut and as you can actually see I've already taken off any of the towers that are above the ground floor so you can see the top floor of the lego floor and also the fish tank have been removed and I'm just clearing this pavement getting it as easy to work with as I can and even taking off the one by one studs that once were the only things being able to I guess hold the mini figures up so I still want the lego door to sort of open and shut so I don't want to obstruct any of the studs right in front of the door and so what I'm actually going to do is with these one by one tiles and this sort of corner two by two plate enables me to fill in the three studs that the door will not be hitting and then because we've got that one gap in the middle I'm just going to take a one by one tile and place it in the gap now we don't want any of these other studs being covered or obstructed by anything we could do with a stud out here just so the door doesn't overextend itself doesn't open too wide and we can also probably get our Leicester minifigure on the end of it so I'm just going to use this one by four place it there and we can really just place anything along that line hopefully get Leicester in at the end we could even have told off these other pieces but as we know we're going to want no other pieces there we can just start tiling away and i have got my drawer of two by fours and two by twos i'm not sure how many two by four in this gray i do have because they've been used for so many different things but i think we're just going to start by tiling off right in front of the door there and making sure we're somewhat keeping two even numbers because we don't want to end up with an odd number and have to find some other odd pieces to fill in especially because once again i'm not really sure how many of these one by tiles i have let alone a one by three or even the one by ones aren't too common but the next thing we want to do is tile off right along this window and basically tiling off either side of the queue we know no one's going to be standing right next to anyone in the queue and we can even have some sort of ropes along here so what i could do using these modified one by four plates or tiles i'm not quite sure if they're modified plates or modified tiles 
we're going to go for these middle ones with the groove just because they're easier to put down easier to pick up perhaps we can use the others for around the corner where we're probably not likely to change it we're just going to place these down with a nice two gap between them and that can just make us build some sort of system to keep the queue in order and stop anyone from pushing in and still leaving this little gap for people to leave so once again grabbing another tile just placing it in there and finishing it off with that tile there so now we've got an odd amount this can work to our favor here as long as we have enough to tile off this edge because we don't want to end up with an odd number. And we can actually put some two buys over this gap in the middle. I think I've talked through my process enough. I'm probably going to time lapse the rest of it and I'll talk about it once I'm done. So as you can see, this is the speed that I build. I'm just a naturally fast builder. And I'm just trying to lay out some two by two plates for the minifigures to stand on when I add them back to the lego city in fact i completely overhauled my whole design of the studs holding open the door as you can see put four giant four by four tiles and i don't actually know where i got them from they're definitely lego because they have the stamps on the bottom but they're just a bit off colored to my other pieces so i must have a few old gray pieces and a few sort of off gray pieces that are probably a rare lego color that i don't even know i'm using as you've just seen two dark bluish gray grills right in the middle of the street act as a very nice sort of manhole cover just to break up the rest of the pavement and the rest is just pretty much tiled where it can fit and now on to the ground floor of the lego store i started pulling it all apart and realized i only need to pull apart the gray wall so sooner than they were gone the windows were back on and i started trying to layer up the bricks on the top of all of the windows the actual windows to the left hand side were up one plate so I would first need to add two levels of plates and as you can see I am off trying to find all the grey plates I can as I didn't prepare much for this video and just sort of grabbed the pieces as I needed. Then I sized up the second floor made sure the big Ben was in the right position and started tiling off once I had finished on the front here and for this back wall what I already had there was good enough. I just needed to extend it upwards a little bit and that would come later. I've actually left the back right corner of the Lego store without any of the bricks that I originally used. I put a load of good bricks to not waste, but I wasn't using them too wisely in this build. So I've left them out and just had that one column because no one can see under the stairs and only you and me and anyone else watching this video is going to know it's there. So then I did end up tiling up the building a bit too early which i'd soon realize as originally the building already had two plates on top so i'd only effectively raised it by one plate so here i am returning the two plates i actually used black for the bottom floor it gave it a nice little rim that sort of differentiated to the bricks above and below it and finished off the first floor very nicely where then i'd move on to the second floor now rather than breaking apart all the walls like I did with the first one because effectively I put them all straight back anyway all I did here was grab a few random bricks plates and just started piling up the second floor making sure I got the three plates higher rather than the one plate I initially did on the ground floor and once I had added all the bricks and plates I needed made a few fancy plate stacks in the corner returned all the tiles trying to remember how they were and I really didn't do too well, but after a while of mix and match, the towers were ready to go back into the Lego City. And as you can see, the Lego store is a much, much better height. It still seems to be about one different. Actually, that dark grey is made up in the white, so it's actually the same height as that rooftop farm. That is the Lego Museum, of course. It does look quite a bit better like this. It just seems to match up a bit more nicely and that top flat where emma is if i can get it to focus is a lot closer to the top so it does fill up the space a lot more nicely similar to the friends tower where that goes to literally one plate of the top of the unit so i'm very happy i've done that and i've actually added a little barrier for the queue of the lego store which i think just polishes it off nicely and stops anyone pushing in line though it does 
take up that whole pavement to the side but the pavement just looks so much better now it's been covered and i didn't forget about that lake i have actually made a little triangle that can just be put right in the side bit here if i can get the right angle and you can see the waterfalls just flowing down into this little pond area we can actually sit both the frogs on top perhaps they're on their own lily pads or just chilling on the top of this little pond which does look really great in the lego city so of course the waterfall goes all the way up and we've got the rock work here on the right with captain jack still sat above the giant tunnel and i just think it's really coming together that's pretty much the whole right side done all we've got to do next time is add the minifigures back of course we've got so much space for all different minifigures now and i might end up removing the snow if it does indeed get a little warmer and then just vehicles get some vehicles in i've removed the garbage truck i want to turn that into some sort of lorry and perhaps make a car with some of the smaller cars that i've got in cheaper sets and poly bags from the last sort of year so stay tuned for the next video of that of course drop a like if you did enjoy this video i tried to switch it up with how i was recording it so let me know if you did like the way I recorded this video or prefer the last City update. Of course, I've got a playlist on my channel where you can check out all of my LEGO City updates and other videos for my mocks around the city, especially with the Friends Tower over there being very popular on Rebrickable around this time. So thank you for your support on the channel. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. Let's hit 700 subscribers by the end of February. And as always, may the bricks be with you.